Hi. In this video, we're going to prove the theorem that in a triangle, the perpendicular bisectors of the three sides are concurrent. Concurrent means they meet at one point. Like we imagine we have a triangle ABC. We draw the perpendicular bisector of the side AC. This will cut the side at M being the midpoint of AC and is perpendicular to it. Similarly, the perpendicular bisector of AB will meet AB at N and N is the midpoint of AB and these two meet at the point G. What we're going to prove that if I drop the line GH where H is the midpoint of BC we're going to show that GH is perpendicular to BC which will make it a perpendicular bisector therefore proving our theorem that the perpendicular bisectors of the three side meet at one point. Now to do this we draw the segments GA, GB and GC. Now because GN is the perpendicular bisector of AB, any point on this line will be equidistant from the end points. Therefore GA will be equal to GB. The length of GA and the length of GB are the same. For a similar reasoning, because GM is a perpendicular bisector of AC, all points on this line will be equidistant from A and C, therefore we can write GA is equal to GC. Now since GA is equal to GB and GA is equal to GC, we conclude that GB was equal to GC. That means GB is equal to GC. Now if we look at these two triangles, GHC and GHB, we have chosen HC and BH to be congruent because they are the same length because we chose H to be the midpoint. The length GC and the length GB are equal because we have just deduced that and GH is common between the two. So these two triangles will be congruent. If they're congruent, this means the angle GHC must equal to the angle GHB and since this is a straight line then GHC and GHB must both be 90 degrees which makes GH perpendicular to BC. Hence GH is a perpendicular bisector of BC and so all perpendicular bisectors meet at one point. Now the point G is not always inside the triangle I will leave it to the viewer to try the case where G is outside the triangle. Give this video a like and press the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.